into the retro. Imagine life 40 years ago, or even 30 years ago. Were you able to text that meme to your friend? Were you able to Netflix and chill? Or were you able to make animojis? Of course not. We're so involved in ourselves that we take tech for granted. Tech is a privilege. We've got so much power in our hands and yet we complain how difficult life is getting. Well, you have not seen how difficult life can get. In this series, we'll hop into my time machine, go back a few decades and explore what tech meant back then. Let's get right to it. Make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on the next videos from Nothing Scientific. The first thing most people think of when they hear tech is the closest thing to their hearts, the smartphone. It's extremely hard to imagine life without a smartphone or even a cell phone these days. Before cell phones, the world really was a very different place to live in. You had to stick to a place when talking on the phone, you couldn't call someone if your car broke down in the middle of the road, and you had to use paper maps to get around new places. Things were a little different back then. I remember getting my first cell phone when I was in high school. I was really mind blown. It was the Moto Rocker E6e. Hello, Moto. I was always fond of touchscreens, but I remember the keyboard on that was so tiny, I had to use a stylus all the time. But it was a pretty good phone back then. Later on, my first Android phone was the Sony Ericsson Xperia Neo V. That was a really good phone. Great styling, good camera, good screen. It's still my favorite phone till date. But we aren't here to talk about what phones I had. So here is your brief history class of the day. Constant communication with their affordable, transportable cellular telephone. Although the first phone was invented in 1876, the first smartphone was invented in 1992 by IBM. It was called the Simon Personal Communicator. Believe it or not, it was a touchscreen and it could send texts and emails. It was launched at $899, which is $1400 in today's money. Approximately 50,000 units were sold and it even came with a stylus but had a battery life of just one hour. That is hilarious in today's standards. Before the smartphone, we had these huge handheld devices that are not even fit in a huge purse. The first mobile phone call was made on April 3rd, 1973, using a prototype of what would become the Motorola Dynatac 8000X, the world's first commercial cell phone. The Motorola Dynatac was over 14 inches in height. The clunky shoe phone, almost as big as a shoebox, allowed a user to talk for just 35 minutes and required 10 hours of charging. These phones were obviously so expensive that most people couldn't afford them. Try guessing the price of the Motorola Dynatech. You've got 3 seconds. 3, 2, 1. The price of the Motorola Dynatech when it hit the market in 1983 had a price tag of $3,995. That's about $10,300 in today's money. You can get 10 iPhone 11 Pros in that amount. And each of these iPhones can do so much more than what the Motorola Dynatech could ever do. That just proves how far we have come in technology and price. Cellular phones not only are becoming less expensive, they're getting smaller. One piece, handheld, not car phones, street phones. The first mobile phone with internet connectivity was the Nokia 9000 Communicator. It was launched in 1996, but accessing the internet was at first very limited because of the high prices set by the operators. It ran on an Intel 24 MHz CPU and only had 8 MB of RAM. This phone was considered a mobile powerhouse at its time. This was the smartphone of the future. It's a mobile phone and email, the internet and a fax, all working together. Nokia, connecting people. After this, there was no looking back. More and more phones started popping up with internet connectivity. And then, in 2000, the iconic, indestructible Nokia 3310 came to the public. It was one of the most successful phones ever sold, selling around 126 million units worldwide between 2000 and 2005. Durable, sophisticated looking at its time, and an updated version of Snake. The phone also incorporated a number of new ringtones and various technologies. Enabling longer messages to be sent, this phone was one of the first phones that could be customized and included features like a calculator and a stopwatch. This phone was indestructible. Between 2000 and 2006, there were many feature phones and smartphones out in the market like the Motor Razor, Nokia N series, and of course the Blackberries. But Smart was about to get a completely new definition in 2007. Today, Apple is going to reinvent the phone. And here it is. 
with the launch of the iconic Apple iPhone. This completely changed the mobile industry for good. A huge capacitive touchscreen that could adapt to the applications being used, full website browsing, and a host of other features. This completely changed the game. The first iPhone was launched at $499 for a measly 4GB model. It ran on 2G. There was no app store, no copy-paste feature. You had to stick with the black wallpaper. And the list goes on. But here is why none of that matters. It was a revolutionary device at its time. And this was a very important milestone for Apple and the mobile industry. This ultimately laid the foundations of what a true smartphone should be. There were no more hardware keys that would limit the use of a certain application. There was a huge screen for navigating web pages. And there was an exceptionally simple way of zooming in to images. The list is endless. The original iPhone was truly a milestone in the mobile history. We take all these features for granted because it's so easily available to us now. Just imagine how much hard work and pain it took to invent the first phone. Just imagine how painful it was to wait for web pages to load on such slow internet speeds. Typing long messages on the alphanumeric keypad and recharging your thick heavy phone for 10 hours for every 35 minutes of use. We have really come a long way. A really long way. This is what Facebook looked like in the cell phones from the early 2000s. So the next time you get frustrated on your phone for not loading up a web page in seconds, and you feel like throwing it to the wall, just remember how life was before the dawn of the modern smartphones. Let me know what your first cell phone was in the comments down below. Share photos and images and maybe some facts on your first cell phone. Till then, catch you guys on the next one.